Same side, opposite side, middle. Okay? So if you just move freely, I can change. Yep. I can change. I can change, you see. Yeah. Just being able to change, I'll just I change. I change. Yeah. Or I don't change. I just stick. What this is is the ability for my body to be released. So very still. Okay. I just relax my shoulder. And the rest of my body. <laughs> if everything is released, he can't touch me. I don't let him touch me. <laughs> La -dee -da -dee -da -da. <laughs> First, we t take a basic shape. L one side, other side, middle. Repetitive shape, not free push. Repetitive shape. Same over and over and over and over. Because if you do it randomly, your data will be corrupted. Right? We all agree on that method, seeing as we've built our lives around it. <laughs> right? You have to have repeatable input. He pushes straight at my center. I do this 100,000 times. Gradually, if you learn how to have a naked, empty observer, you'll realize which version of releasing your shoulder is the correct one. Because I can only tell you so much. I keep saying, release the shoulder, release the shoulder, release the shoulder. But what does that mean? What does that grunt release mean? If you answer, that's another bunch of grunts. And what do those grunts mean? So you have to investigate deeply, right, with a set of conditions so you can find out what is actual release. Exactly from your own experience. Not from my words or authority or lineage, from your own experience. So that even if you lock me up and make me very uncomfortable, whatever, just do whatever, that'll do, okay? So if I use muscle, I mean, that actually hurts, so that's good. <laughs> if, if I move, mu I can't use muscle because it's, it's too overstretched. So I don't. I just release. <laughs> if everything's released, I can change. The second, the reason why locks work is because it's the opposite of release. The extreme opposite of release takes away your movement. Yep. So when we touch, if I'm not very sung, you can change. Okay? How about if I'm more sung? Very difficult to change. Why are you so stiff? In fact, you're not stiff, it's a relativity thing. If you can be released enough, the other person feels stiff compared to you. Yep. So instead of trying to affect your partner, just be crazy about being released. How released can you be? What does release mean? If you think you know what release means, you're in great error. I have no idea what it is. Okay? Because it changes every week. Because what does it mean now is only in reference to where you are at that moment. And if you're progressing, what it means changes. If you know what it is, you're not progressing. The second you know what something is, you're not progressing. Yep. Don't attach to things. Just be naked and investigate over and over and over. Now, the version we want to do now is three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Because if you can change left, right, and middle, that's most of application. Right? Now, we don't want to be, if he pushes this side, I go this way. If he pushes this side, I go this way. That's what most people teach, right? Be sensitive. Be sensitive. Right? And so if you're sensitive, you follow their force or something like that. 
No. If you have to apply the art, by definition, how many mistakes have you made? Endless. Oh, I was drunk, I was on coke, and then I was chatting up the wrong girl, and now I'm in a fight. <laughs> right? So you've made a few mistakes in a row. And then oh, I'm going to be perfect. You're not going to be perfect. If you're in a fight, you're so far from perfect. You've made a chain of mistakes. So actually, fighting is a mistake. So if your art is dependent on you being perfect, it's worthless. So this idea that if they go left, you follow left, and all it's, eh, it's OK, but it doesn't work. You all, you, I'm sure you've found out in push hands it just doesn't work, because you make mistakes. So you have to make the quality of your being in such a way that even when you go against the force, it works. Yep. It doesn't mean you try to do that, but it will happen. You will go against the force. You will bump into force. You will disconnect. You're going to do that. And it has to work anyway. So don't obsess about, oh, is he going left or right? And being like neurotic about it. That's how most people push. Yeah? And they, they kind of, you come, it's like this. This is the common push hands thing. Like this, okay. So they kind of meet in the park, and then they come in for a snuggle. Just, just let me come in. Like this. It's like, mm, and, they, <laughs> and they kind of go, <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's like me going, is he going left or right or right or left? Uh, 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 uh. It's a kind of neurotic behavior. Yep. It doesn't, it's no good. Just move. And move with such a quality that if they resist it, they go out. If they don't resist it, they go out. In other words, develop your being to move correctly rather than being neurotic about what they're doing. Isn't that the opposite of having like your own keeping your Zen, as we were saying, right? Keep being sovereign? Oh, what's he doing? Uh, 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 uh. Not that. Even if it's the wrong way, you lock me. Even if it's wrong. Okay, oh, you know locks, don't you? Okay, do it hard. Go, go, break my arm. Break it. Good. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Different one. Go. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can move against the force. You move against the force because the quality of your movement is different. Not because it's some trick. He's doing that, I turn left one degree, I wiggle my toe, I put the tongue on the roof of my mouth. Yeah? Technique is external. Your state is internal. I'm not saying technique doesn't matter. It does, but it, there's nothing wrong with jabs and crosses. Right? Technique, you hit them, or you make them hit the ground. That's it. Pretty simple. There aren't that many. And there's always one technique to beat the next technique to beat the next technique. It's like an endless sort of chess game. We don't want that. We want a quality that will defeat a better technique. That's why the Tai Chi form looks so silly. I remember when I first started seeing like G, like <laughs> that's your martial arts technique? That's your martial arts technique? <laughs> like coming from this very complicated Kung Fu style. And then it's like, it's like the world's most stupid martial arts technique. Because <laughs> we're not training a technique. We're training a quality of movement. Okay? So we're going to go left, right, and middle, focusing on quality of movement. <laughs> 